Oh, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 888. That's the Cal Ripken Jr. episode of Flow Wrestling Radio Live. Ben Askren is not here. He is late. It's a shame. Well, we got Shane Sparks. We got JD Raider. What's up, Shane? We'll deal with uh, Ben's tardiness later. How are you? Man. I'm ready. I'm doing fantastic, guys. Big week, and uh, I got to be honest. I mean, that's a caution on Askren. I mean, you we we told him a couple of times to get back to the line. It was a slow walk, clearly fatigued. He doesn't yeah. want any part of this Bang smoke. Him. Bang him! You got to hit him there. They're not starting the match till I get there. I don't know. What they do. they're, try, they're trying to get a little jump start on me because they're so far behind in picks or something. So we had the first call. I'm four. I am four picks behind. It's fifty-six to sixty, sir. Okay. Who's also, one thing to, I was just going to ask you. That's that's the that's the most pressing thing I want to know. What are the picks? What are the standings entering this week? Number I've got, one. He's got sixty. I'm at fifty-six. JD is at forty-nine. The Metcalf number. So we're <laughs> yeah, there. Nice. JD's rough. He's ever had a rough go. Not doing so well. <laughs> doing fine. JD's doing fine. He's got his best sweater on. This is his picking sweater. He always does good when he wears his sweater for picks. That's right. So. So, uh, Shane, you're you're only on briefly because you got a lot of stuff to do today. You're getting ready Whoa. for the for some duel tomorrow somewhere in in the middle of Pennsylvania. That's what they say. That's, That's what, what they, they say. say. How excited are you for this duel? Your 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 energy levels. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. I mean, I think, uh, and I got to do more research on this, but one thing that's intriguing to me is I believe seven potential matchups where at least in college these guys haven't met. So yes. wow. I, mean, I think that'll that's be a lot of fun. Stat. Yeah, I mean, and then, of course, you get the big three. If, if it starts at 125, the big three to end it, 84-97 heavyweight. Those guys have met. So, I mean, I think, and I saw JD's thing on flow uh, yesterday. I did something similar on, on Big Ten uh, last week, and it was, J.D., we're pretty much spot on. I mean, there is a for, – for anybody that just thinks Penn State shows up and, and wins this thing, that, that surprises me. There for the record, some... I think Penn State shows up and wins this thing. <laughs> yeah, but, uh... I, 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 I should say that. Shows up and wins it easily. I mean, there is a there is a very clear path for Iowa to win this 100%. That's, that's far from crazy. I mean – Super clear path. Very clear path. Yeah, I mean, first things first, they got to get a pin from Spencer Lee. That has to happen. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a foregone conclusion at this yeah. point. So, I mean, if 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 Gary Steed would lose by 15, he'd be the first guy to go off to a standing ovation in front of 16,000 people. Yeah. I mean, he, he, he'd have the key to the city on Saturday. Yeah, but they're building the statue next to the little cougar there. Yeah. Um, outside of Rec <laughs> Hall. Uh, yeah, yeah, it should that be would... a lot of fun. I mean, that's I'm looking forward to... I mean, 41 and 49 are the matches that I'm most excited about and heavyweight. Those three, I think 65, I, I know those guys went at who's number one on flow. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, back in high school. So there's there's a lot of intrigue to this one. T ton of intrigue. What um, Do you get any kind of like, uh, you know, you watch NFL broadcasts, they're like, yeah, we met with this this coach Ooh, or this coordinator or whatever. Give it you to get us. to like, do you get to do any of that? Y you know what? I... I have not I've, – I've talked to Iowa a bunch. Of, I've already done it a couple of times. I have not talked to uh, – not. I, I talked to the Penn State guys when we did them against Wisconsin a little bit, but uh, that's that's about it. I mean, the reality is all I want – I mean, I just want to know who's going. I yeah. want to know who's going. I mean, if I know that, uh, that's that helps me out a ton. Uh, I, don't, I don't ever expect – I mean, nobody's ever going to give you anything real juicy. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I've been doing this for a long time. You never get anything. I, I will. I would tell you this: at times, you get uh, some information on potential matchups. But uh, I mean, that stuff. If you want to get fight, you know, if you want to be out, bust that news. So sometimes I sometimes I get some of that stuff. But but uh, for the most part, I just make sure I get a lineup. I mean, last week uh, it was good to know I will making a couple changes against Wisconsin. Had mm. they sent those guys out without telling me, I would have looked like a complete idiot. Why so, did they wrestle an injury? They tell you that? I, I don't even ask them. I don't even oh, ask man. them. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't even ask. Shane just yeah. assumes their girlfriend dumped him. Yeah, <laughs> just, exactly. Just runs with that on the broadcast. Um, <laughs> yeah. So do, do you have, uh, I, won't, I won't press, but do you know the lineups? I don't. Because Ben, ben really, Ben strongly believes that Terrell Barraclaw is going to wrestle tomorrow and not Levi Haynes. And I strongly believe Levi Haynes is going to wrestle. They were both listed okay. in the probables, which means basically nothing. In these 
Well, this is Haynes' <laughs> last bracket. This would be his fifth event, right? Correct. No, no, no. Or yeah, no, he he's at used five. five. He's used five. This is it. Oh, he's used five. Okay. Yeah, he's so used he's, five. he's used this him up. Okay. It. So this will be the point of no return. This is, this is the tear of the shirt or? I mean, I have. I, I don't know what goes into these did. decisions. Uh, I'm just a, a fan like you guys, but I I, I really like Levi Haynes. I mean, if I, I really like him. I mean, I think yeah. at this weight class, he's a guy that, that can do some damage. Yeah. Um, he, he's... Yeah, I think I think he probably goes. Last and point. And I think I'm going to hurt you say this, Christian. I heard it from somebody that, uh, and I would tend to agree. Uh, you know, Seabrick becomes the you know probably the favorite against Barraclaw slightly. Mm -hmm, yeah. You know, yeah. So that's that'd be a big move in the duel, and um, we'll see what happens. But no, I, I I don't know, but I I definitely will hope to find out, and it'll go in the vault. Top secret. Top secret. <laughs> another another factor that I think is like not considered enough here that I wish I brought up yet in yesterday's show talking about the Hanes use them don't use them dynamic is this is you got to understand and you guys I know I know that you do uh -huh. know this but like the recruiting <laughs> battles that that is like that is the war and these two teams are what? at war year round with each other and this is the chance for both teams to put on display. Head up one on one. So the opportunity to absolutely bury a team and beat them as bad as you possibly can, that is just recruiting. Remember, I think it was last year. I uh, don't know. Hold on. Christ, no, hold on. Well, let me go and I'll let you go. Me. That's not. It's, bro, Who's on you your know? shirt? Omar Little. <laughs> hey, Rob, that was the first thing I asked him today. I'm going to yeah. go find him. Omar Little. Yeah. I, I, I am Omar Little. I'm tracking down all my, my stolen goods. <laughs> Update. Look who got their wallet back, Ben. <laughs> uh, you told me it was gone forever. Not. I, I thought it was. I got it back yesterday. Whoa. Oh, Christian, real quick. Oh, real yeah. quick. Hold on. No, I want to hear Christian. I, oh, I yeah, well, you wanted to, but you could not. You couldn't avoid interrupting I, did, I, I disagree with your sentiment. No, th this, they're, they want to bury each other. They want to win by as much as possible. This is the number one competition. This is their opportunity they go head up. It's like in a tournament, it's like, yeah, they hit and collide and you compare team scores. But this is the chance where the teams get to go one-on-one -on -one and everyone watches, everyone knows. Remember, it was last year after, I'm pretty sure M Mason Gibson was like uncommitted. He's like, how could you not want to wrestle at Penn State? Like he tweeted that after they had some big um, dual meet victory. Um, I th I think that is absolutely uh, a factor here and they want to they want to run up the score on each other as much as they possibly can. Um, I, I think that's a factor here. And if there's an opportunity for Penn State to not just light up the scoreboard in this duel, but run it up at NCAAs during a time where, hey, they need, they're going to need, there's going to be a time where Tarachi and Brooks aren't there. Roman and Dean will be gone soon. No, and, I haven't just said that. What? That plays out. What? Everyone's always said that Taylor and Ruth are going to be gone, and then they just get some more. No, no, no. Yeah, but don't you get yeah, that's what they, for, that's I mean, what I, they I don't have them yet. Them. Of course well, they – Everyone of just course, talked. I can't course, hear anyone. Well, of course they're going to get they're going to get more, and they always get more, but that's this yeah. is all part of it. Yeah. So, I mean, what I would say is, like, when you say that uh, they want to run up as bad as possible, and uh, I, I don't remember what other terminology you used, but what I would – what I think – is that okay? Well, if say Penn State had someone who was hurt who probably shouldn't be out there, are they going to put them out there? And I think the answer to that's no. No. Like Penn State knows that for them, the NCAA tournament is the one that matters more and they would love to win. But I don't think. <clears throat> what does an injury have to do with this? What? This is a perfectly healthy. No, your best I'm, I'm, I'm healthy. attacking your, uh, your thoughts. That's process. not an attack on it because that's an injury. And that's complete. No, it's, no, it's not. Well, no, but this, in this case, it's burning his red shirt for this duel. Like they don't no, need him. In no, you're not burning it for this. The you're burning it. You're, you're, you're burning it. So you have him for this duel. I understand. Okay, so I understand what the thought process is to burn his red shirt, which is he's the best guy there and he can win it's a title possibly. I get that. And then on the other side is we don't need him. And he's surely going to be better in one year. That's probably the two two sides of the argument. Uh, yes. Yes. I'll Rutherford. 
how much Zane Rutherford beat Logan Steber as a true freshman, by the way. He was good yeah. enough to win a he was and good he enough to win a national and then he was better next year, to my point. He was better next year. Well, he redshirted the next year and then he won NCAA. And he was still better. Even though he redshirted, he was still better. I mean, yeah, but we I mean, he wrestled I don't even know if he wrestled a folk style match that year. Okay. Lost to Jordan Oliver at the Schultz was whatever. I mean, I, I think you guys are both right. I think you're yeah. both right. That's but impossible. I'm probably, but I'm definitely this right. A, and no, because I, I believe in Chris, Christian's take is all things. Christian's take is basically if everybody's healthy, you go out there and you you, you win as many as you, you know, you score as many points as you can. I mean, that that's what what of they're course. what they do. And then you're, I agree with you, Ben. I mean, that's the decision. Uh, you know, do you do you use him now or do you use him next year? Yeah, he'll be better next year. But the the, the one thing. Uh, with Penn State, at least from my perspective, is I don't think, and again, I'm just shooting my mouth off, but I would say that team doesn't necessarily have to worry about four years down the road like most teams do. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, you know, let's let's plan ahead, yeah, uh, exactly. you know, because they can just go out and get, I mean, they just go out and get the, the, the next stud in, in four years. And Precisely. You know, a lot of teams got to think like a, they got to think a lot. Yeah. You know, more years out where Penn State's like, now we'll worry about a couple years and a couple years because especially now you throw the transfer portal yeah. in. Exactly right. Exactly I mean, the other right. thing, you know, the other thing, I, I don't think we've ever talked about this on the show, which is kind of surprising because we've done a lot of shows. Um, if you use all your two freshmen, uh, and I know there's certain coaches who probably for sure play by this tactic, but if you use all your true freshmen, then you increase your scholarship load by 25%. You know what I'm saying? If you use them all, you, yeah. If you if you just I mean if you just wrestle true freshmen because you're you're going from a ten scholarships divided by five to ten scholarships divided by four, right? Because you get them in and out oh, in four you years. Have to give them another oh, year yeah. Of scholarship. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. So you increase your scholarship load by per year from two to two and a half, which is a twenty five percent increase. Kind mm -hmm. of significant, actually, when you think about it. Is it very significant? Um, yeah. That's that's like the. It's also assuming that they would all be on full ride. Yeah. Well, if you just if you just divide take the number ten divided by five or four, right? If every athlete wrestles five years, it's two. If every athlete wrestles four years, it's two and a half on the aggregate. Correct. If they were all on equal scholarship. No, no, no. Because no, you just have total. You just have ten scholarships, JD. So it's ten yeah, divided by five or ten divided by four. But if somebody wrestles four years and somebody wrestles five years, I understand. I understand. And the guy that I'm saying in one case, five years is only on ten percent. Yeah. It's a, it's a different yeah. fraction. Yeah. But they all yes. wrestle four, it is two, and if they all wrestle five, it is two and a half. Yeah, I think I think Ben, you're you're um you're wrestling. My math is stupendous. No, well I'm not I'm not talking about that. My I math is I... outstanding, Piles. Give me a problem right now. <laughs> I'm not talking I'm not talking about math. Um I'm talking about I think I think your beautiful mind I think your beautiful mind sometimes ignores like some other human aspects of of uh motivation and Iowa uh, or Penn State killing each other is a huge, huge factor here. Um, I, I, ne I never thought about it um, in terms of recruiting, but is there any part of Kale? Well, first of all, how much say does Levi have in this? I wonder versus just, you know he wants to go. Yeah, yeah. I feel like all eighteen year olds are like, put me in. So yeah. how much of how much? Especially when he got a taste of it last Friday, too, guys. Remember that you got a, you got a taste of it last Friday night. Mm -hmm. How much does Kale consider, hey, we want to show recruits, if you're the guy, your true freshman year, we will let you wrestle if you're the guy. Because I feel like that's becoming more of a thing where guys are good, they're coming in right away. You want mm -hmm. a good recruit, but he says, hey, I know I want to wrestle my very first year. I do not want to redshirt if I'm the guy I want to wrestle. Is yeah, that, I think that at the end of the day, though, JD. I mean, look at the success they've had. I mean, I, I can tell you this: if I'm a if I'm a family and I got a you know if I got a son that's going to Penn State and he's 18 years old coming out of high school, you know, we're we're gonna trust what they tell us. It's that's yeah, the word not trust. The word is trust, and they they trust Kale. They trust his decision making. Yeah. I mean, how can you not? <laughs> Kale's been pretty good, but high school high, high, high school, school fathers are trust. not always. They Logical trust thinkers. college coaches way too much. Let me tell you this. Well, I, wh that when, might be true. Well, what's Kale, what's Kale an example of when, when Kale has, has not Kale? I said Kale's great. Okay, I said yeah. Kale's but, great. but that he's the one we're talking about right now. 
I understand. He just said, he guys, said, if I went to Penn I State or Iowa football. or some of these top programs, and I've I've told some of these coaches this, I would do exactly what they told me. Yeah. If I wrestled for Kale Sanderson or Tom Brands, I would do exactly what they told me. Not ninety nine percent exactly. You know I don't believe you, me? Shane Sparks. I don't believe you. I would, yeah. Ben, because I'm a little out there. I, I would, I because they've that. done it. I I I, I want to follow somebody. I want to follow a plan that gets to the top. They've done it. Like they know yeah. their plan works. Now I know everybody's a little bit different, but I'm just telling you, I would do everything they told me to do. Mm, I'm yeah. talking everything. Yeah, um, <laughs> I, I'm I'm with that. Um, for, for sure. I think. And another thing, the, these the coaches a, a huge aspect of their job. They are talking to these dads on an almost daily basis. They're always talking to these dads. The, the, okay. It's it's constant communication, not just at Penn State, but but other, they're they're keeping them in the loop because they know. I mean, wrestling dads, they want to hear what's going yeah, can on. Can you imagine people going? calling you up constantly, telling you how to do your job? And I'm not saying that's always the case, but that's no. gonna just get like. It's like we know what we're doing here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> can you yeah. ask Kale today when you talk to him if uh? Can you ask him if, if Christian's got a plan for him? <laughs> All my plans have ever involved getting him the that, most points at NCAA. That is the best. That, that was so. That was that was that is classic. Uh, that yeah. was so classic. I believe that. I believe that was the last interview. That was like 20, 2015. <laughs> That was awesome, though. That was. The, We've all yeah. been. I mean, yeah, I've been in tough spots too with those at, at, with coaches over the years. So you just <laughs> yeah. gotta laugh, and it is what it is. Yeah. Um, Shane, you got a fancy little hotel room. What's that? A uh, sky painted in the background or something? Oh, man, what is that? Well, I'm yeah. back there. I'm not, it's, it's just a yeah. It's it's uh it does the job. It's not the it's not the Drake in Chicago, but it'll do. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Hi, society. How long can you Whoa. be on, Shane? I know we, I know we got you for short time. I was time. supposed to be off two minutes ago, but I'm going three more minutes. We're gonna, we're gonna go a little sudden victory. Three more sudden minutes. Victory. Okay. How three about minutes. this? Russia back to the Olympics. I just clicked on the the dot, hey, baby. Yeah, they're back. What's up? Um, oh, they are. That's official. Not, not, not. The IOC has officially said that that is their position at this time, and they are exploring pathways to bring them back. So it's not. 100% they are back yet, but they, they are back. Oh. But if you're an international yeah, federation. My question would be, what changed? Nothing changed. What changed? Nothing. Nothing. The Why passage of time. With? It's like, okay, you served your penalty or whatever, but nothing's changed at all. They, they will be back under, there's a couple stipulations. Neutral flag, so similar to, you know, the world championships or uh, <laughs> Olympics, no. I guess, when it was for doping. And... Uh, an athlete cannot publicly support the war, or privately, I guess, for for that matter. They have to support peace. It's um, it's so crazy. There's there's just like Russia disgrace at like every Olympics for one reason or another. Like <laughs> 16, yeah. 20, 20, 24. It's just gonna be a, a tr it'll be for different reasons, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but but they're just just disgrace um for for one reason or another um yeah so. So, so wild. Um, but the, the bigger question or the more pressing question is, okay, 2023 worlds, what are they, is that on the table? Mm -hmm. Could we see that? I hope um, it is. Um, yeah. I, I, I think we probably do see them. I think what was said is, and one of the things that IOC I think mentioned was like, Russia should be competing in the Asian qualifiers and Asian They games. said they would look into that. Um, and that that would maybe be okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I hope we see him. Belarus for all of this as well, because they are currently banned as well. Yeah, that one's weird too, because just because because uh, Belarus is not officially at war, correct? No, they sub they're with Russia. Yeah. Hmm. I'm a okay. I'll Google it. I got to pay more attention to uh, what's going on in the world. Yeah. Um, well, it's big for us because Kenny make made of. Oh yeah, back in the mix, Kadi. That's about it, though. Sidikov. Well, he's Russian. Right, he's Russian, but I'm just saying, like for thinking Burroughs Dake drama. Yeah, so they're back. Yeah. Um, not a ton else to say. We'll keep you posted. Um, All right. Anyway, um, it, it does um kind of bring up some interesting hypotheticals, like 
if an athlete were to come out and say, this is great, um, I believe the way it was worded, UWW or the event organizer would have to remove that person and report them. If they said what? If they supported, if they came out and publicly supported War. Russia's, yeah, um, attack on Ukraine, mm. which, and then you, what is support for Russia? Because, you know, I remember Tadia publicly stating he supports the motherland, I think was the translation I read. And stuff like that. I don't think I've seen much from many of the athletes, but um It'd probably be like a what what's it, Fifth Amendment? Like not allowed to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you know, where do you draw the line for support yeah. of one's mm -hmm. country? Yeah. And, and Russia. So good chance we'll see some some version of Russia. This also comes one day after the Ukrainian president um, publicly said, begged, uh, begged them not to. <laughs> begged IOC not to let him in? Uh, I think it was with the French president. He he said he met with the French president and really tried, said, please don't allow this. Mm. I can't believe that's what's on the top of his mind. Like, well, I, don't, your, I don't think it's, well, he's, country, he's doing a lot. If your country's under attack, it's like, Man, I, we really don't want to see them wrestling in the Olympics. <laughs> I mean, he, he has said a lot of other we things gotta, as well. We got to send a message here. It's like, I don't know, we're getting, don't you, aren't you getting, yeah, I don't know. The whole thing's terrible. But that would, if I had to prioritize and execute against the top things that were, I'm not probably. I don't think worried. that was exactly at the top of his list either. It made the list. It's not on my list. <laughs> Sports aren't on my list. Um, Okay. Shane, I want I want your I'm gonna give you the last word, um, or question or take, bef before you have to leave. I just think this match is gonna be a lot of fun tomorrow night, and um, I think the, the only thing I would add is if it starts at 125. Uh, again, this is just this could be this kind you of match. You want to do the extra match like my idea? Did you hear my idea, Shane? I didn't. Extra match, RBY, Spencer Lee, after the duel. How great would that be? After I mean, the duel, set it up. That'd be, that'd be great. I'd, I'd love to see it. I mean, clearly, I mean, I don't think that happens, obviously, as you probably don't either. But, yeah, I'd love to see it, you know. But Same. this, what becomes really important, one thing, guys, I'll give you the little, it, it could happen. The first takedown tomorrow night could be important in that duel. The first takedown could be. I mean, I think it could be pretty tight. Is that Spencer a criteria? Had... What's that? Is that a criteria? Most first takedown? I, mean, I think it's most first takedown. Way take down. down there. It is. But you get um, Spencer getting that fall. He's got to get the fall. I mean, the easiest take is if Iowa wins it, you get a pin from Spencer Lee. That's mm. got to happen. That'd be the one thing that I would say has got to happen. And if he does that, now, you know, I've gone through this, you know, I've gone through this scenario a couple times and, and, uh, if he's able to get that fall, it kind of saves them. They can give up a couple more bonus points because if it be tied, they'll win it on criteria mm -hmm. with that pin if it's 5-5. Five, five. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, good match. That, that'd be some really good matches. I'm curious to see if uh, – because Teske and RBY were teammates. Be curious to see how that goes. Yeah. I would, you would typically favor maybe a guy – you know, they would they know each other, so maybe that favors the underdog a little bit. So I, I just think there's some, some interesting scenarios. I think it – this is one of those, you know how wrestling is. It could be super, super, super close, or you can have five matches decided by one point, and it's 15 nothing on the scoreboard. It's like, oh, somebody's killing somebody. Like, yeah, they won five one-point matches. Yeah. Just the way that the score is scored. 100%. So, yeah, you're right about that. No, no doubt about it. Should be fun. It. But uh, you guys, we'll talk to you soon. Enjoy the duel. And, uh, yeah, should be a lot of fun. JD, love it's the sweater. Funny, Christian, you know? like your shirt. Ask from... I like uh, the black guys healing up, so that's good. And uh, <laughs> you guys take care. All, All right, right, Shane. Make sure All you right. fix your you hair guys. before tomorrow. See you, buddy. Right. See you guys. See ya. Sure getting a lot of pub today. A lot of pub for Omar Little. R.I.P. All right, there's a heaven for a G double R.I.P. Yeah. That, not yeah. to spoil a 20-year-old show, but. <laughs> Boy, I'm uh, real, real life and fake life. I know. That's why it's a double no R.I.P.
Freaking oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, I'm going to Baltimore. We're going. To, I'm actually a little worried about the show next Monday because I got the. Uh, we're going to the, taking the team to the McDonough Duels, and uh, I'll be busy and a couple early mornings. It's gonna be hard to watch all the matches, so I may be a little behind. I'm. Obviously, we're gonna watch Penn State Iowa as a group. I'm sure we're talking about that mostly on Monday, so I should have that down. If you have that I down, know, I feel like you'll be pretty prepared pretty for the show for Monday. <laughs> I think we'll be good. Um, Sometimes, and- though, I stay up late on Sunday night watching some matches. But Big Ten Network makes it pretty good. You know, mm-hmm. Flo, you guys need a, you guys need a 10-second fast forward because, man, when these dudes be just hanging in collar ties, 10-second skip. Oh, they're still hanging. 10-second skip. Oh, we, they're still hanging. 10-second skip. We have something like that. Um, no, you have a 10-second backward. Uh, okay, well, on the desktop, we have a – we definitely have it. Yes. A 10 second okay. skip. Because, yeah. So. Big 10 match I, I on YouTube also, to start skipping. I'm also vying our uh, content production team for a speed option. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I a lot of times so like to I watch on that, two. And then sometimes two. I want to watch on half when something crazy happens. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe one day that, that can be. And then RBY is doing that ride he does. If I want two speed. <laughs> 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 Oh uh, man. Okay. So it's, Christian, it's not even exciting when I do double time. <laughs> I'm not saying I didn't say it was exciting. Um <laughs> don't 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 pigeonhole me. Also, <laughs> hold on. For all the plan talk, you have a plan just as much as I do, Ben. You have a plan. I got to, so many plans. You got, got a plan to not plans. wrestle Levi Haynes. I th- I just think it's a good idea to wrestle him. They're all plans. No, I think I I would fall somewhere in, in the middle. Like, um, oh, here we go, fence sitting Ben. No, I mean, I mean, you're. I, I think people who go all the way one way or the other, except in very certain circumstances, are idiots. Like, I obviously see both perspectives. Mm. Um, if I'm Penn State, uh, I'm probably considering the weight thing because that that would be the biggest factor in my mind. Like, if he can't make fifty seven next year, then I'm like, okay, wrestle him, redshirt him next year, and then let it play out after that. Is probably what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. That's one of many factors in the in the use leave I call. Yes. I can't wait for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, for so many reasons, daddy. Daughter. Did you figure out how to skip your daughter's dance or, or you know, <laughs> that's, that's, that's party afterwards yet? No, I haven't figured that out. David is just so bold. David's like, first of all, I gave David Bray a ride to work today. He's like, well, I, I can get to your house. That's fine because I he lives sort of north and I have to go south. But yeah. I would have picked him up. But he's like, no, I can get there. And so I'm waiting. <laughs> For him to get up, he's like, he texts me, I'm about to about to roll up. So I go get in the car and wait. And I just see this one little light slowly come around the corner. That's his bike. David bicycled to my house he's this morning. How many miles? Uh, he says it was uh, 11. But, like, there's not. He wanted a dir- to get a little workout in. Get there's a rate up. There's a lot of traffic and roads. He said he claims there were trails and stuff. But, it, okay. And. Yeah, so then he's, he stows They're his... They're literally different suburbs. He stows... Yeah, very different. He stows his bike in, in my garage and uh, scared Katie. She knew what was going on. And she thinks we're both... The only inside. part about that is then, man, you, know, you got some at least stinky armpits and stinky balls going to work, man. I don't we know got about a shower, that. Though. We have a sh- One, we have a shower. At work? Two. Yeah. Oh, where? Uh, also, it's very... It's, there's a whole gym. We have a gym in the new place. You're not allowed oh, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got you, got you, got you. No shoeless hippies allowed. <laughs> you don't have, but maybe, maybe, uh, very judgmental of you to assume that David has body odor. You of all people should know. <laughs> that it's is, highly likely. It's uh, yeah, it's highly likely. Uh, one of a kind, Ben. We call him. And even if you, I mean, even if you don't have body odor, a la myself, there's still like that, like grimy, you know, like that. Yeah, sticky feeling. Like, ah, oh, shoot, I should have planned that one better. Yeah, that's my thing, too. I don't like, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I got a shower after basically every workout. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, thinking about the Iowa Penn State match, um, so I laid out a pretty clear, there's, it's not like I, it was my thing, but like, there's, there's a pretty clear path for, for Iowa to win. But then I was thinking this morning, I was like, Penn State could win nine of ten matches pretty realistically also. Mm-hmm. And I, I was like, whoa, could this just get like... Could- nine of ten. Wow, that's... You, man, I don't know if I'm going to Bartlett that big of a chance. You really think... You think Bo's a, a pretty... I mean, I, I'm underdog. with you. Yeah. I think he's a decided underdog. I, th- I mean, I picked him to lose. 
Um, but it's possible. They've pulled off bigger upsets for sure. I, I'm I'm with you. I think it's the second most likely Iowa win next year, uh, or next to Spencer. So I'm with yeah. that. But then there's a lot. There's a potential for for this to get going the wrong way. Ooh. What if What if Kale did just pull like a a, a little chess move? Like, no, we want to draw. Because if they want, if one team wants to draw or whatever, then like you yeah, have, they to. have to draw. What, why do you think the advantage is to not get the momentum going? I don't know. Just is only... yeah, you gotta you gotta start every match with a with a pin. Yeah, getting to, getting to... I draw. Someone in the Facebook chat is like, "Why is no one from no one tried to transfer to Penn State to wrestle one twenty five to be on a championship team?" It's like, well, they do almost it is every pretty year, wild, huh? Well, they do like every year. Drew Hildebrand, they get transferred all the time. Teske. Okay, no one good though. <laughs> I mean, depends on your depth. Hilde, okay, Drew Hildebrand was, Hilde best was one, fourth in NCAA. <laughs> the next best after that was uh, um, Carson Kuhn. No. Um, well, one, Ooh. I would say, uh, I mean, Teske. Or Teske, Teske was originally there. He was originally there. He was originally in HSL, um, yeah. So he, I mean, there have been a lot of it attempts. It was Carson to, Kuhn. Carson Kuhn, Corey Keener. I think was the... He um, was 33, though, not 25, right? Mm, he wrestled at both, I'm pretty sure, but I think he was 33 for okay. Penn State. Um, I mean, Andrew Long was a, a, a decent transfer. That was 33 the also. 33. There's really only two 25-pounders. Yeah. Um, is that right? I think well, that's literally right, last actually. year, they're, they had a transfer at 125 who placed fourth at NCAA. So I, you know what I heard? I heard they, 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 come, they fly into the State College Airport and then Kale meets him there, and he goes... Too small. <laughs> Too small. Went back onto the plane. Too small. Man, I no, it's crazy. The the like... at, the attempts they have made to solidify 125 always have seemed like good, smart moves. And for Gavin whatever Teasdale. reason, Gavin. Yeah, Gavin was. I so Gavin was not a transfer. He was originally at Penn State. Yep. I mean, Gavin, Robbie Howard. Um, you could still Brody. Robbie Howard could still Jason. come through. Robbie yeah. Harris could still come through. Um, Gary Steen, Brody Teske, um, all of the, I mean, how the number of 25-33 since, since Soriano. It is, pretty, it is pretty amazing. It's insane. And they're all. I actually do think, I mean, le legitimately, and this is one of Soriano's complaints, and it's hard to criticize Kale in any way since they're the, the best team probably ever in history. But I think about this with uh, myself at AWA because obviously, kind of historically, we've had a lot more good big guys than small guys. Mm -hmm. I, th I think a, I think a lot big part of that is we don't make them good early, and they don't cut weight, so they all grow. I, I'm I'm actually curious. We have kind of a handful of pretty skilled, say seventh through ninth graders that are really small. So I'm I'm curious to see how much they grow if they like stay small if they get bigger. Uh, but there is a very clear difference in the way you train big guys versus the way you train small guys. I think, you know, speed, their speed is a huge factor at the smaller weight classes and it's not nearly as much at the bigger weight classes. And then a lot of the moves just, they just work differently. If you're mm -hmm. a 125, 133 versus a 184 through heavyweight, the moves just work differently. Yeah. So, so but, but what's your point about that? I guess, uh, is that, is that kale is more effective at training upper weights than smaller guys? Obviously, they've had good. They've had obviously Roman, but even at thirty three forty one, they haven't been as effective. They've been effective, but they also given had their standards for Nico, but given their years. standards, they haven't been as effective. At I mean, think about how many upper weight crazy two, three, four time NSA champions they've had. Yeah, but I would say at heavyweight, um, sure, heavyweight's the other one. They're it, not great. And theoretically, they should be just as good there. I think it's just like they're just. I think the absurdity of their like 49 through is skewing 80, 97 RPM. sort yeah. of skews, skews 25 33 and and heavyweight um because you know they had Nico Jordan Conway yeah he, i mean it's weird because Jordan Conway yeah he didn't win multiple national like he, titles he was a good, multiple he was a multiple all american um yeah. and they got great utility out of him cuz they flexed him 25 and 33 and he was successful yep. at both um Roman is you know on a I mean, he he's on an. If he wins yeah. this year, it's like he's kind of an all timer at thirty three and beat Dayton twice. Three time champ with potentially three wins over Dayton Fix, and Vito, yep. uh, a potential additional notch 
in his belt. Mm-hmm. Um, so and who knows what Soriano would have been there? <laughs> he yeah. was the two-time champ, not there. He was. I mean, he was the two seed at NCAA's as a true freshman. Uh, it would stand to reason he would have had a, a decent. But that's of success. that's where it's so weird. Is like okay, but all these twenty-five and thirty-threes, they've gotten. You just named a whole bunch of them, a number of really highly ranked recruits who have not panned out for whatever reason. And if you look at the upperweights, that's just not the case. They've had some, say, at Mason Manville, who have not panned out, but it's not not nearly the number as at the small weights. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, no question about that. Weird. Um, it, is, it is just sort of a strange thing. It's just, I think it's just a, yeah. I guess it's hard to get 25 pounders. And you know, yeah. the other thing is they were, everyone thought they were for sure getting Spencer Lee. They thought the Lee family, it was like kind of a foregone conclusion at the time he was going to Penn State. And then, um, I don't remember that at all. Yeah. So they, are you sure? Well, How sure are you? Because I remember at that point in time, I was doing once or a year ish camps with uh, Young Guns. Mm-hmm. And I remember trying to grill Jody on it. And, I remember him saying, like, I don't know, or something. And I think it was actually, didn't they commit, like, August? And I think I was there maybe in, like, the end of July or something. It, no, they committed in, like, the spring. Um, I, I know I know factually because the, the Lee family has told me. Like, oh, yeah, okay. it was like It was, like, basically assumed he was going to Penn State for, for a while. Well, I'm so glad changed. he didn't go to Penn State because that would have made he, the last I, few years really boring. The the, the Terry connection. Um, no, oh. The lightweight no, no, connection. I'm saying the team race would have been incredibly boring the last few years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No yes. Yep. Um, I mean, there's, Thanks, mir- Spencer, there's myriad factors. I mean, he made, I mean, what changed? Spencer Lee made a freaking top 10 list uh, and, and read it when when he committed. So you can go back and watch that. When, uh, when Young I mean, was Spencer it like Lee. him him and Gavin were like sitting on like a picnic bench or something yeah, like that? That was, at, that was at the Lee family home. Got it. That was a fun day. Um. Anyway, keeping it moving. Um. I don't know Let's where. Go. Oh yeah, we're talking about Penn State's just one twenty, just sort of inexplicable. And like even Gary Steen, it's like when they get Gary Steen, you're like, oh, he's pretty tough, man. That's a guy who's like, I don't know if he was ever ranked number one in the country, but he was definitely ranked in the top three to five. I think he was that high. I don't think he was that high. Really? Am I wrong? David Bray? Uh, I, I don't remember. I, I mean, I remember him being good, but I don't remember him being like anywhere close to the top. That's my recollection. I, can't, my, I don't know that I'm right. We have varying recollections. David Bray. Okay. I'm pulling it up right what now. was Gary Steen's highest rank? You know what would be a really cool feature? Hey, He was I number just, 29 just, on I, the big board. 29. The, 29 the big board. And at means, the time this was published, he was so. number nine in the 120 pound rankings. Okay. Mm. Christian, May 16th, hey, Christian. 2021. 29 I got an is idea. high on the big I know board. You, I know you got, you can flex some influence with some wrestling people. Okay, yeah, right. so Flo, Flo Arena and Track are combining, correct? Mm-hmm. He was behind Cooper and, Flynn, Brett Unger, Steve O'Puyen, he's, Dean Peterson. He's off. Awesome. Sorry, I'm That's listening to all these 25s. We'll, 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 right, we'll revisit hold on, hold on. it. We'll revisit so, okay, that. So you, Go ahead, Ben. Okay, so you make a profile. You guys are making a profile like they have on track, which is effective, right? What if there was a, a button you could click and you guys could make it auto-upload or something? But every single time, you could click on, like, rank on their profile and you could see what their historical rankings were on Flow. So you could see how they go up and down or whatever. What do you think? I like that. That would be awesome. David says, be look, so awesome. looking it up real quick, my guess is three, but maybe one. So wow. Definitely, yeah. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure he was pretty freaking high at one point. Um, we'll see. Who cares he, about one point? It's about where you finished, though, right? Okay. No. <laughs> no. I, my whole point was this is a guy who was at one point. If you reached number one in your high school weight, that is. Um, my my whole point is that Gary Steen is not yeah. just some throwaway recruit. Like no, I know, I, I, I know his current. He's not the blue chip, but he's obviously a very good recruit. Yeah, tw- twenty nine on the Who, big any board. Any college would be happy to get twenty nine on the big board is is not insignificant. Damn good. That's that's nope, good. Very good. Um, okay. So yes, twenty five. But yeah, I was like, it would be interesting just if they uh, threw a curveball and didn't start at twenty five. But if you're Penn State, it's like let's just get this out of the way. Let's just <laughs> let Roman like. Yeah. Flip the script later. Um, next match. Um, so, yeah, I, 
nine, nine or eight is like possible, but you know what? There's, I would say six or seven winnable matches for Iowa too. It's going to be a, yeah, it's, it's going to be a great duel. Question from the chat, Jason Heldreth. If Haynes gets his shirt pulled, does PSU have nine AAs? If what? If Haynes has his red shirt pulled, does Penn State have nine All-Americans? Oh, yeah. It's highly Good. likely. Facundo's the question, know, too, because... Like, uh, stop with the highly likely. Who would, you pick, who would you pick not to, Facundo? No, I mean, between the But just the probability of, that... Yeah, probability Bartlett, of... Um, 41, Bartlett, Van Ness, 49, and Haynes. One person, Those please three. talk. Yeah, I think... There's a and even I could see Haynes losing to a few of the guys that are like especially if someone gets upset or something. Okay. Potentially. Not highly likely. I yeah. would say it's around fifty percent that they would have nine. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go thirty two percent. Thirty two. Thirty. <laughs> I'll split the difference and I'll go forty. Yeah. I mean, this is a team that they've had five NCAA champions on multiple occasions. I think nine AAs is what's the most all Americans they had? Seven, eight? I want to say they've done eight before, but maybe not. I don't know. I'm not they had to have up. done eight at some point, right? You would think. Yeah, I'm trying to think which year that would have been. In twenty fourteen, what did they have? Um anyway, I'm not gonna know. look it up. It'll take a while. Penn State okay. fan. Uh let me know. Okay. Let's get to what do we want to get to? Pickums? Pickums. We gotta do the pickums because that's the thing we have to get done. There's a lot of questions, and we're actually not gonna get to the questions again. <laughs> just let them pile up. Uh, yeah, we, just we, throw we them might. in the trash and start over. We might get them. All right. James Dean is uh making the pick'em contest. He made the lines. Uh I'm a little air cover for James. I'm not actually gonna indulge this opinion. Uh, I'm just going to... I like this opinion. It's smart. smart. It's smart. it's actually smart. And I never considered it. Since the lines... And it's from Nui. He says, Since the lines are all set based on JD's opinion, he's never going to have those slam dunks of I think the line is wrong picks that Ben and I get occasionally. Um, and that's a pretty good point because I see some of these lines and some of the pickums, and I'm like immediately like, no, which way I'm going to go. He never gets that. So... Sometimes I do because I make everyone a half a point. So mm-hmm. if I'm like, this is a one point match, yeah. the, or I'm like, this is a three point match, but the line is two and a half. So. Oh, okay, you're just bad at pickums. That's fine. Actually, hey, though, eight, eight AAs in 2018, Christian. 19. Okay. 18, 18, 2018. Okay. Right. Yeah, that was a good team. Right. Well, and there, I think 33 was one of the ways they did it, and probably heavyweight, or actually, no. I can't remember. I don't remember. Let's keep it moving. We're gonna I just want to make moving. these picks crush you guys again. Uh, you're up four picks out of, like, 100, so I'd relax. Um, this is not – I mean, you're supposed to be, like, some dominator, some Mr. Bonus Points, and you're up – you're currently up yeah, four. Yeah, you know, I, I let my heart get to me last week. Barnett cost me two picks. Uh, you know, I thought, hey, Wisconsin Cost guy, let's two. get this done. Lost me two picks last week. That was hard. Yeah, bad judgment. Well, okay. he's, back, he's back in on multiple times this week. Yeah, he's he's fun. He is he is Pickham's crack because <laughs> you can't not look away from it. You know something's going to happen. Yeah. But we're starting with Ohio State at Michigan. Um, could be It's an interesting duel because there's a path for it. I think both teams could run it up. I think Ohio State actually matches up really well. We'll see. Ohio State's kind of been. Do they have everyone back or no? They pretty much. Malik has not been wrestling, but basically everyone else has been back. Correct. Ohio State's been kind of like laying sort of low since the since Vegas and collegiate duels has been like yes, which I think is probably what they needed. So curious for this one. The one he has here is number ten, Dylan Ragason of Michigan, taking on thirteen ranked Jesse Mendez, Ohio State. He says it's a pick 'em. How are they that low? Well, Jesse Jesse Mendez. He hasn't had a lot of matches yet. Ragason has taken some losses this year. Mm-hmm. Damn. Okay. Hey, Ragson just wrestled RBY so tough. All right. I got go. You don't climb up the rankings for losing close. Yeah. Maybe maybe in yeah. Ben's rankings. <laughs> I got Mendez. I don't do, I don't Mendez. do rankings. Um. 
I'll go Mendez. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, he, I mean, okay, with Ragusan, you have he yes, he did wrestle uh RBY close, but then he just got his butt kicked by Foley also. That's why I thought the uh good. the RBY win would sway some people, so I think the public might go with Ragusan. Yeah. For, hmm. for reasons he buys, but hmm. What if I think Ben's probably just going to copy all my picks and prevent me from ever running him down? For the rest of the rest of the season, I will not make a different pick than you. <laughs> yeah, that would be the most hilarious. It would be even funnier if it was after week one and you just did that. <laughs> Cam, I mean, uh, well, sure you'd make me pick first, right? Sometimes we, at least we should actually do an order that like snake order, yeah. yes. snake draft. If you can, you can you run that and make sure we do it in the order. <laughs> I don't think anyone really. I, I think we all are, are in own individuals enough where it doesn't. Uh, I don't matter. know, Ben. You're kind of a conformist in my experience. <laughs> I should also shout out um, Rob Vasky and Dylan Kepner. Yeah, uh, they were the they guessed all twelve that we did last week, right? And nice. uh, Rob really Vasky good. won the tiebreaker by like one point. Oh my gosh! But they so, were both for, it about evenly split the two of them. Take so. your time on oh, the tiebreakers. K- Caleb Piles. He's actually he did better on the tiebreaker than I did, but he's like I just got tired of adding the points and I just put a number down. You kind of got to get them all right to, to even win. make it to the tiebreakers, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you can't miss any. Okie doke. Uh, next one. This is a dollar toughie. It's a pick 'em. Camamine Carson Hartsla. I'm going Amin because I believe he's gotten him historically. Historically accurate. And I actually take that back. They both missed one. They both missed one. We did 13 last week. Not as impressive. That actually wrestled. Wait, are you sure? Because Kirkfleet wasn't in there. Remember that? Correct. Yes. They both missed one. Okay, Not got that it. one. Different ones, though. Okay. What are you thinking on this one, Ben? I'm going to mean. Uh, Man, everyone's just sure of it. Mean. And it, yeah, is, mean. it has been a mean. In my mind, Hartzler's better. Why? But. I don't know. I feel like he's got better. I would have said he has better offense, better leg attacks. Um, but man, I, I've not says... been super impressed with Carson this year. He hasn't wrestled a whole lot. Only one time since CKOV. I thought it was the Maryland duel. Um, he, he's prior to that. You know, he he was wrestling a little tight, he um, conservative. Tight, that plays right into his hand. Uh, That's what I mean. Once he lost to Hepner. Teammate. That's a teammate. I don't put too much stock Guess who, into that. Do you know who else lost to Hepner? Bryson. Cam uh, Amin. Cam, Cam Amin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lucky Bryce Hepner is not in this pick'em's line. He'd be a one-half favorite on on both of them. I, I'm going Hartzla here. Okay. Next yeah. one. Oh, you took Amin? Yeah, I took Oh, I said it right away. I'm one step closer to the edge. All right. There's Pit- some other decent matches in this duel. It'll the, be a fun, it'll be the, a fun duel. It's going to be a really fun duel. I wish Romero th- finds Silver's in there too, but Romero's going to kill them historically. Yeah. He beat him 12 5 at the MSU Open. Um, Paris Horndorf. The Slaughter. Um, I'm trying to think. What are the other good matches in that duel? Luan, uh, Gonzalez. Uh, Did he'll probably Kevin? be out there for Ohio State. You, you don't think in, still no Malik? I mean, I, it's just he hasn't been wrestling, and they've been wrestling their best lineup. Is there any help on the way at 25 for Ohio State? No. Gonzalez. No. Gonzalez is decent. Yeah. He's okay. He's, he's a guy. Okay, Sam Latona versus Mickey Phillippe. Latona, a point-and-a-half favorite. A lot of respect for young Samuel. I'm going this, Phillippe. I... uh. Man, I mean, Latona wins by one, and I lose if I pick Latona. I think there's a good chance Latona wins by one, and I yeah. think there's a there's a so I'm taking that percentage along with the percentage that I think Philippe could win, uh, and I think that's the best choice. So for for me, I could see Sam picking Mickey apart from neutral a little bit, three three takedowns. I think that's like on the table. I think he's gonna get. Four or five solid connections on on his single, but Mickey is okay. just really flexible. He can really he can stall out positions. He can stalemate. He's good on top. Um, Latona is really I'm trying to think. I don't think he showed much bottom deficiency in his career. 
Um, I don't think so. Man. I, I, I like how Latone's been wrestling. He beat Vito Arujo. Uh I'm going Sam. He did lose to Dylan Ragason like a week or two before that. Mm-hmm. And then Ragason got whooped up on by Ravon Foley. This this weight is mm-hmm. sort of kooky. Um, All over the place. But Nick, let's, let's look Sam at Latona, that. notorious slow starter at the beginning of the season. I like what I've seen out of him the past month. I'm rolling with Latona. So Mickey is 8-1. Yep. and one. Only loss is to Connor McGonagall. 5-3. Um, 7-3. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, going, I'm riding with Sam. Roll Tide, go Hokies. Roll Tide, go Hokies. Well said. Um, best. Uh, I don't a, even know if that makes sense, but whatever. Sam Latona's from Alabama. He loves Alabama. Oh. Uh, Bray says the Joe highest Hokies. rank he can find for Gary Steen is fourth. Okay. Fourth. Going on the big word. Anyway. We were all very uh, hung up on that. Yeah, we we had to, we had to get some closure. Cl- we need a closure. Tom Crook versus Cole Matthews. Matthews a two and a half point favorite. This is interesting. I'm going Tom, Tom Crook on this one. Okay, it feels like a ma- it feels a like a Matthews. Mr. This feels like a big trick from JD. Just a big deception. Crook sometimes loses kind of bad. He does sometimes lose kind of bad. That's what I'm scared of. So I'm okay, going. But Matthews. hold on, hold on. Let's see. Uh, four two Danny Pacino, three one Josh Edmond, four three Dakari Clay, two one Joey Oliveri, one zero Danny Coles. Like Kevin uh, or Ryan Jack. There's a good pretty... chance it's two points or less. Who are you looking up? Was that um, I, that was Cole Matthews? Okay, Winning those matches by two points or less. All right. Well, he lost twelve four Vince Cornella, eight two Alan Hart, seven one Kale Happel, eight two Ryan Jack. That those are all like four. All right, fine, five. cheer against your Hokies. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just listen. What I'm trying to do, and I, this has been successful for me in the past. I give you all the data to to knock you off the pick you're on, so that I can get I on the it. pick you're on. I know, but you didn't say final answer. So final gonna, answer. Crap. Okay, I got crook also. <laughs> uh, I'll ride with Matthews. Okay. I like Cole Matthews. What's the path for Matthews? Like a tilt or something to give a big yeah, a little, pointer? Yeah, two takedowns. Just a cement yeah. mixer pinfall. Or riding time, maybe. A takedown riding time. Yeah, something like that. Takedown, turn, riding time, turn, <laughs> takedown. It's the path. I mean, four to one, and he covers. Yeah. yeah. So a takedown, an escape, and a riding time point. One escape for Crook. Those are ways to win by three points or more. <laughs> Wisconsin at Northwestern. Michael D'Agostino versus Eric Barnett. I feel like we do this pick em every single week because it's just some combination of the, those 125 in the and Big Ten. Yes. And they're all like the same. All like 3 through 12. Uh, <laughs> I, so, and these two are both right. on a slide. Yeah, they're sliding. It, they, they've hit a rough patch. It's not the electric slide here. <laughs> Eric Barnett, final answer. Here he goes again. He, he let me down twice last he week. He stabbed me in the back. You s- actually, I blame you for that, Ben, because you swayed what? me. You swayed me into oh, which one? thinking he, on Spencer Lee that he could not get pinned. He almost made it two periods. It was close. Yeah. Um, I will tell you, though, and I'd Spencer yeah. gets away with it a lot, the, the pinning hold that he took Eric Barnett over with, for sure illegal. No. Yeah, go watch it. His arm is bent up, and he's bo- he's below the elbow. Uh, with Spencer's arm is below the elbow of Barnett, and he pulls him, and his shoulder comes up, and then it straightens as it goes, and he flips him over, for sure, for sure illegal. Oh man, it's okay, it's... whatever. I'm good with it. I, I, you know, I love putting people in pain and pinning them, but you know, if we're gonna be specific about it, that's not a legal hold. Can you point to the last time? Like in, I'm talking to his I, ten, well, match, ten well, years match. of watching wrestling. I've never seen it called. What do you? I mean, Spencer gets called for uh, illegal bars. Uh, no, 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 not often enough. No, no, no. He does get he called. He never. For. He's never been called for illegal. They they'll call potential. Spencer? Potential. That's what, sorry, potentially dangerous. That's well, I, that, okay. You know, that's what I meant. Yeah. Well, there's a huge difference. Yeah. Sorry, I misspoke. Okay. It's, it's a hold you cannot use. Is what I should have said. Is that fair? He's too fast with it. For there to be a potential yeah, that's danger. The, that's the issue. He's too fast with it. Um, man, this is tough. Who are you going with here? You're going with Barnett. 
I don't know. Yes. It, it, this is, and it's Toss McKee, Toss Ramos in there too, jumble them all up, and I think They're they wrestle. all toss-ups. Exactly, and it could go either way, either time. I feel like, and, and this will perfectly set up a, a random loss for this guy, but I feel like Matt Ramos could actually become like a solid fixture, some sanity, a solid rock. You like mean a number third two game. or what? Well, number he, th- number three, I guess. Um, yeah. Behind Glory, but you know one of the things that everyone tries to do with Spencer Lee. That's I'm so I'm watching the Barnett match right now. They like, wrestle him too hard. They try to scramble with specifically. They try to scramble with him. Like um, he's really good from all these counter scramble positions, um, and he is very very like his sense of where he's at is really really high level. And these guys try to scramble with him, and it just gets them in so much more trouble than they would have been in otherwise. Why don't they run away? Flee. Run away or just try to sprawl or down block or that type of stuff. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, like, they're almost always trying to scramble back in with him. Yeah, and it feels like he has, like, this uh, sort of a unique ability to just, like, freeze people on their back. Like, they can't yeah. roll through. Like, they just get stuck well, there. Yeah, it's because they think – because his, his center of gravity – uh it's 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 really good and so whereas most people when they roll or they do that they're going to off balance the other person a little bit and that's going to give them some space and against him he doesn't off balance at all so then they're just stuck where they're at if that does yeah. that make sense at all uh yeah it makes sense okay yeah it's just so, weird that yeah. he can do that when i watch wrestling every single week and i see that position hundreds of times and everyone uh, i know so often they just they can at least pass through or never get caught in that danger yeah but he has this ability to be like stay stay and just yeah no it's a great feel for where he's at in space so diagostino and barnett split last year it was of course and of course they split 3-0 win for uh, barnett and a 9-5 loss for barnett so uh yeah, so great, great game. Right, I, 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 got, I got the hold here for you. Hold on, I got the hold when it, when it becomes potentially dangerous. Uh, I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put the exact link in the YouTube chat. I know, I know you guys. We can't play it. I'm sure, right off YouTube. No, not legal. Not legal. Oh, I need to. I got to click to start it. It's 5:43 in the uh, select right matches feature. We'll give. You, oh yeah, see this is oh ouch oh man it slides up but in the beginning. A lot of pressure on the shoulder. Electric slide. I'm going yeah. Barnett listen, here. <laughs> yeah, I got Barnett also. Um, Diagostino. He is, like the puppy dog said, rough. Well, I mean, Barnett just lost to Medley. Well, I think look, it's pinned by Spencer. Diagostino is going to be a top five guy. I know, that's why I'm going with Barnett, because he was hurt at CKLB, comes back to get majored by Liam Cronin and pinned by Spencer. So Yeah. He did beat Maximo Renteria, which maybe that was his last match. But maybe he's gonna maybe that'll help. But for right now, I'll just go I'll just embrace uh the chaos. This is an easy one for All me. Right. Austin it Gomez, works. Yaya so Thomas. Tech- You're gonna go Yaya, I know. Yaya so I'm easy. I'm so technological. I'm going Yaya too, for sure. Yeah. Two and a half points. I'm I'm not sold. I I think I think Gomez could after. win by three. Then do it. Do it, cable I'm not going better, but, win by three. Oh, Who's here he goes. This is ridiculous. One and a half would have had me sweating. Two and a half, mm. I'm, I'm late. One and a half would have been a good one. I, th- I thought it was a two point victory, but I thought, like, I think Gomez wins by two. Yaya's but, wrestling well right now. He, he is wrestling well. Um, wow. Wait, wait, wait. Is he really wrestling that well? He's 15 and one. His only loss is to Sasso. He beat uh, his last couple wins, he's beaten. Zap, Parco, Lacus, Murin in the last less than a month. Okay, he did look pretty good against Murin. I, beat, I just felt like there was one match I was forgetting about, but maybe I am incorrect. He, I mean, he lost eight two to Sammy Sasso, but he beat this no. year. This year for Yaya Thomas, he's beaten and don't interrupt my list: Verclearin, ah! Milner, Rilbudo, Arrington, Zap. Uh, Marshall Keller is actually not bad. Kyle Parco. Michael Blockus, Max Murin. Solid. That's good. Except Blockus, he's kind of having a terrible year. Mm. That's okay. That's why it was a whole list. Um, 
I've, yeah, I've got Yaya. I think, you know, there, there's a. I think he is a good matchup for Gomez too. So Gomez kills people with his speed on reattacks, and I think Yaya has. Well, one, he's not going to take a ton of shots. We know this. Um, there is a possibility. Here's the here's here's the challenge for Yaya. He's got to stay in the middle, better. Yes, because I think he could get. Bono and Gomez, they're gonna be all over him trying to get those edge edge calls. Where yes. is is this at Wisconsin? The Badger Dome? No, no, it's, sure. I think it's I think Wisconsin might be on the road for both of them. Okay. I think. Don't call me on that. But it's it's at the North Badger Western. Dome. <laughs> yeah, I, it Badger is called dome? that, right? It is the Badger Dome, right? Oh. This, this is Always made in, that Chicago. Up. in Chicago. In Chicago? A little uh but that's good for Gomez to Illinois. Illinois. Mm -hmm. Illinois boys. Okay, yeah. that's gonna be. I'm I'm excited for that match. It's a pretty good weekend of wrestling, boys. And now mm -hmm. we're at the Iowa Penn State pickups. He actually put the Spencer Lee uh, line in here. Um, I'm feeling Why good. I think. You and you know what? I'm going Spencer. Gary Steen by pen. <laughs> I Wait, mean, Spencer. I'm sorry. So for uh, the line here is just Spencer Penn. So he either it should be by a certain time. Okay. What if, all right, here's first a question. Period pin, first period fall, and I'm still taking it. Here's my question. What if it's a, uh, what if Spencer wins by injury default? Injury default? It's, How? It's void. Just, I'm just it's void. It's void. It's a no contest. No contest. Okay. So I mean, don't... honestly, hey, let me, can I, can I give you guys a, Kale, I have a plan for you. Can I give Kale a plan right now? All right. So here's the deal. The, there's it's match funny. points. That was actually what decided the Wisconsin versus Iowa duel. If you get pinned right away. To, <laughs> if they would have spent forfeited to, to Spencer, they would have won the duel because Spencer scored 12 points prior to the fall. Wait. And they won. I, I'm i pretty sure. What? I could be wrong. Could be wrong. But I think like the fall points are taken off. So like the fall. I don't think so. so the first cri points. No, one of the first criteria is like. um. Number, well, so it like goes number of six wins. one, and then you and throw those out. Point number of six points, five yeah. points wins, four point wins, three point wins, and then match points is the six criteria. Yeah, but I, I could be wrong here. No, because uh, there's no way they would have scored because they had they had twenty nine points or something going into heavyweight. They didn't score that many points prior to that. Wisconsin. Mm. I'll, I'll look it up. Badgers wrestling schedule. Yeah, so if they forfeit it, it would be a way better idea because then you're not, I mean, you're not giving up any match points at all. If Wisconsin would have done that, they would have won. Mm. All right, let's look this up. Tiebreaker criteria. Uh, it's match points. All right, so let's see. Uh, okay, Teske scores zero. Railwood scores nine. That's nine. Murin scores three. That's 12. Seabrick, three. 15. Kennedy, three. 18. Rhodes five twenty three Assad scored zero. Franklin Here it is. I found zero. it. I found it. I'm fall, right. I'm fall, right. Fall points don't count. Total match points scored only from decisions, major decisions, and technical falls. I'm right. Pin Dang. point. Well, how did they have that many then? If I I know I saw it going into heavyweight, it was like twenty seven or something. I don't know. Where'd you see it? It, it was been, on Big Ten, Big Ten may, Network. It may not have been they right. Put it up there. They, well, they put. It must have been wrong. They have wrong things all the time. So I, think it was, I think it was like 29 to 23 for Iowa going into heavyweight. Ten points don't count. It's obviously like Dow would, Dow would have only scored a two-point takedown uh, prior to Oh, yeah. The, the chat's got my back. Let's move on. Hey, All I'm right, switching right. this up. I'm going Spencer first period pin. All right. Spencer first, lead, first period pin. I'm still going Spencer. <laughs> um, three minutes is so long. How many times could he pin him in three minutes? I'm, I'll I'll stick with it. Still going Spencer. I, I would say between four and six times. Yeah, and he has to let him go neutral every single time. Okay, here right, here's the ultimate spin zone. This duel is not going to be won by the difference of Spencer pinning or getting a tech. Okay, yeah, could sure. it be potentially more beneficial for Spencer to get the tech? With the 15 or 18 tech fall points. No. It could be. Because no. no, if it comes down to the team point. No, because if he got the okay, team, they would, would have the fall. Point. Yeah, yes, he first would criteria. have one more. Okay. Yeah. I'm just overthinking he the situation. Or geez, Christian. 
Classic overthinking. Okay. Classic. 41. Woods, a point and a half favorite over Bo Bartlett. Bo Bartlett covering. Ooh. Um, that's a tough one. Bo knows covers. I think there's a small chance Bo wins. I I, I don't think it's. I mean, I think it's. I was second most oh. likely who wins if I had to put it at a percentage. Obviously, Spencer's a hundred percent. Um, this one I would say is like a seventy percent for Iowa. Um, wow, that's a lot. I. Based on your previous rhetoric, uh, it sounded like you were way, way more bearish on Bo for this match. 70% is pretty decisive. Yeah, thir- 30% opinion. chance. Uh, and so and then I also get the one point. I'm going to go real wood still. Yes. One or more. One step closer to the edge. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be able to turn Bo. And his inability to get takedowns is very concerning to me, which... Generally leads to one point matches either way. I think he has a takedown and ride time point. That's how he wins by two or more. Mm-hmm. I'll go real just root against CP. Yes. This is why I'm terrible because yeah, I just want to root against CP. <laughs> Doesn't works great for me. Max Mir and Shane Van Ness. Mir and a point and a half favorite, according to this guy. I already told you Shane Van Ness here, so you know who I got. S V N. Mm. I dare you, Ben. I'll go Mirren for the fact that he can get one in overtime. You won't go for there's good no way Mirren, Mirren. There's no way Mirren's winning by two points unless it's overtime, which I think should not count. If you tie going in overtime, it shouldn't be counted against the spread. Wow. Idealistic Ben. It works in – that's how Vegas does it with football. It's so dumb. Okay, so but, let's uh, – Yeah. So, so who I'm are you going, taking? I'm going Shane Ben Ness. Wow. Kennedy, Come on, Max. Facundo, point and a half favor for Facundo. Another easy one oh. for me, Patrick. Kennedy. Yeah, Kennedy's across the board. Didn't both of you guys pick Facundo to win the match? Maybe. I think he's going to win by one point. <laughs> so you literally are. <laughs> Facundo that... can't score a lot of points. What are we talking about here? Okay. I literally was just yelling at you guys yesterday because you guys said he was more dynamic offensively, and I said, no, he's not. I said slightly, and yes, he is. It's going to be three to two. Three to two. Um, the, the off chance is I think this one screwed and it goes to overtime. That's I think Woods Bartlett is more likely these. to be close. And Mirren Vanessa is more likely to be co- close than Facundo Kennedy. Hmm. Like to be a one point match either way. Okay, next one. Kirkfleet Cassiope. Kirkfleet, a point and a half favorite. This is a tough one. So thinking about that matchup. All right, Ben. Coach Ben. I'm I'm yeah. wrestling. I'm Tony Cassiope. I'm a big strong guy. I need to get You're my hands boy. on this Daniel Gregory Kirkfleet fellow. Yeah. Why? Mm-hmm. Okay. All the takedowns, I, I say all. Every single takedown that I think he's given up against Kirkfleet, he's just been just kind of blown off his feet from distance. Yeah, low, low double. Why don't you go like straight Kyle it. Dake, hand in the mat, stay really low? until you can get your hands on him and then yeah. re- wrestle the match there. Make him wrestle from a tie as much as possible. And if you're not in a tie, put your hand on the mat. Make them hit you for stalling multiple times. That would be better. And also in heavyweight, there's also, there's also like an inherent like heavyweight stall tax that's built in. It's undeniable <laughs> where like you got to uh, do some extra stalling. Unless it's like top bottom in which they like fire it up like crazy. Uh, so I think they would let Cassiope get away with a little more. So why not go to straight Dake hand on I, the I mat? Know. Yes, he should do that. That's wise. I mean, the other the other skill set that I know I've been working with several of my guys um, in the past couple of years, where is once you get your hands on them, keep your hands on them. Don't let them get back back split away. You know where where you have to mm-hmm. cover that space again. So mm-hmm. get your hands on them, keep your hands on them. I don't see that. Yeah, he should be leading low. I think it's probably just a factor of he doesn't have to do it very often. There's not that many people who can actually threaten him from the outside, um, he, whether in the room or in matches. So yeah. it's hard for him to force that on himself. Well, last year he uh, in the duel he got his doors blown off, um, but he still won. But he gave up that first yeah. takedown. And then in, at the All-Star, it was two really low shots from space. So, like, if your hand's on the mat. And also, 
make make Kirk Fleet have to adjust mid match from what's worked for him yeah. previously. Um, so I'm oh, going. I love it. I would, I would do it for sure. All right. See, maybe I should start my own wrestling academy up in Wisconsin. See how that goes, Ben. You got a plan. I got a plan. I'm going to come up there. I'm going to take over. Um, I'll call it AWA Plus and just change it just slightly. And they'll think it's just like the better AWA. I've got Cassiope covering. Uh, I'm going to go. He does not make the adjustment. Kirk Blit wins. Okay. Kirk. Kirk Witch. Okay. Arizona State versus Lehigh. Um, is this live on flowwrestling.org? I believe that it is. Go Mike, get him. I hope you would know. If you don't know, I don't know who would know. It is. Uh, Mikhail McGee versus Connor <laughs> Ma- Connor McGonagall. Excuse me, Connor McGonagall. Professor McGee. The McGee wrestled last week. The McGee. No. The McGee battle. Uh, two and a half point favorite for McGee, and I say Mikhail covers. I say more. it also. I got McGonagall. Perfect. This is, this is why you are how you are, JD. Correct. He's leaning into it. Uh, okay. Michigan State at Ohio State. Jesse Mendez versus Rayvon Foley. Mendez, a three and a half point favorite. That's a lot of points for Jesse. That's a lot. Rayvon Foley beat the fire out of Dylan Raguson. I did not like how Rayvon didn't, didn't give uh, RBY a really good fight. Um, I thought he kind of like, eh. So that makes me nervous for this one. That being said, I'm still going to pick Rayvon. I love Jesse. I'm riding with Jesse. Okay. Love him all you want. I think, Jesse! He, wins, I think he wins the it's match. Breaking bad. Oh, yeah. Personation. Gotcha. <laughs> Keep that one chambered. Um, <laughs> I got fully uh, losing, but covering. Yes. Back to the Barnett. Back to the, oh, my gosh. Barnett oh, versus Cronin. Cronin, a three-and-a-half-point favorite. And I was like, wow, J.D., that's a lot of points for this guy. But yeah, it's he's, too like, many. he's like, it's not really, though, if you look at the facts, which you love to ignore with Eric Barnett, um, re- repeatedly. So Cronin has uh, pinned him and, and him by beat four? him 7-4. He beat him by three. Beat him by three. So he's beaten him by three and pinned him. Nah, Cronin, let's go Barnett. Cronin's hot. <laughs> Barnett is not. <laughs> Pins like perfect. Barnett. Hot or not? Remember that? What was that? A website? I can't remember what that was. was that a website or an app or something? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> that was a website. Like when I was in high school, it wasn't it? Uh, yes, yes. Hot or not? I forget uh, what it was. I think yeah, you rated was, him right. That was, was kind of, rated girls. I mean, it, it sounds pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't yeah. not, it wasn't hot or not. It was you rated them based yeah. on a numerical point system. Wow, perfect. Um, yes. <laughs> you get canceled for that type of shit these days. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, so wait, I haven't made a pick. I'm just trying to move past this because I don't want to make. Wait, this is two and a half. No, Which is, is it? Three two and, and a half. half. Two and a half. I dropped it down. Okay. Well, no, I... you can't drop it down after I make a pick. No, 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 no. But okay, I know, I know in that doc. But I made, I made that one first, and then I went back and revised. Look it. You saw I, did, I haven't adjusted it in here. I'm making my decisions based uh, on this number. I want this number, sports book. Yeah, Too bad. I want the number. I got three and a half. I already made I'm my change pick. all the time. JD? You can't. Mm. No, you can't change the number. I already made final answer. Eric Barnett with three and a half points. It's it's two and a half, and you're still getting Barnett. <laughs> oh, so now Cronin only has to win by three points. Yeah, man, I'm I'm just predicting. I'm just riding with Barnett inexplicably, based on nothing. We need to pick. Can we have a, a, a Berwick versus Lamont pick them? Are they wrestling? <laughs> Yeah. Oh the my God. Wisconsin. Oh my uh-huh. We have to have a pick 'em for that. Okay. <laughs> we uh, gotta have a pick 'em. Can it just be a pick 'em? I, I, I think it is neither, a pick Neither neither one has won a big ten match, I don't think. I think I would go Berwick. I think I'm going Berwick too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> all is, that trouble for this, for this for a pick 'em. This is the culmination of it. all our dreams. Oh, that's what you want. You want to pick 'em. Um, Let's see. I always say no. Those would be ten. 
Yeah, uh, Berwick is 0 for 3 in Big Ten duels, and uh, Lamont is 0 for 4 in Big Ten duels. Okay, something's got to give. Yes. Um, watch Lamont sits this duel. No. Oh, they actually did. They actually didn't wrestle him against uh, Purdue, maybe? Yeah. I think. Yeah. I'm, I'll go. Oh, man. I'll go Berwick. I'm looking at Berwick, final <laughs> answer. <laughs> I just love. Uh, it. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Man, that's must see TV. There, they're both in the honorable see. mentions currently in the rankings. Man, Michigan, Michigan versus Ohio State should have been on a Sunday. Michigan State, Ohio State should have been on Friday. Like, get why do you have a marquee duel? Well, this, they probably do them back to back, Christian. They probably have Ohio. There's a thirty minute intermission. Let me check. There's a thirty minute. They have intermission. a leading into Iowa, Penn yes. State, or no? Yes, it's okay. that one starts uh, at five PM Central Time. Then there's a thirty minute break, and then it's Iowa, Penn State. Thirty minute break for yeah. us to dance. That's when they've I been doing that a lot lately, alley. where they do uh, like double Friday duels, and I like it. It's cool, but yeah, they should put a couple good ones on Sunday back to back, also. Yeah. Um, okay. Diagostino versus the uh, last one. Diagostino versus Dean Peterson. Diagostino point and a half favorite against Young Dean. I'm going uh, Dean. Uh, Dean Peterson covers this. Yeah, Diagostino, not great. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't wrestle this one. Double jersey here. Wait, Diagostino was a jersey kid? Uh, I don't think I made that up. Could have. Wouldn't put it past me. I have no idea where he's from. I I, I did not think it was jersey, actually. Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Way off. <laughs> Yeah, Diagostino is only. I guess I thought him and Rivera year. were both from New Jersey. Well, were you thinking Cannon? Chris Cannon is from New Jersey. Oh yeah, so many Jersey lightweights in Northwestern. Okay, well, I was. I mean, at I least it's just one right now. Yeah, I know. I was referring to Rivera in a previous life. <laughs> okay, so that was wrong. But mm. I made my pick right. I picked uh, Dean Peterson. I went Peterson as well. And Ben I would Peterson Man. also. I would Peterson Ben. So easily. I don't think so. Right I hit Ma Magic Peterson defense. Boom. If, right, if you're right getting here. a Peterson on me, it's probably because I'm letting you have that so I can sucker you into some type of defense. No, because then yeah, once yeah. you're in my you won't Peterson. You're smart enough to think about no that in escape. real time, though. Yeah. No, see, but what you've never seen is when I line up here, I get this elbow out of the way and I sit. And I do a roll, roll, elbow, shoulder, head. It's very unprecedented. No one ever does this. <laughs> um, okay. All right, we did the picks. Wow, good job by us. Um, next up. We have time to get to like three questions. We can get to some questions. <laughs> Out um, of the 30. I'm not going to answer Israel Thomas's question because he's just going to yell at us on Twitter. So yeah. what is how many takedowns? Hey, hey, I replied to him in the chat. He, he my, just, my guess is two takedowns. My guess is two takedowns in that match. Mm. That'd be fair. I would put the over under at one and a half. Yeah, I would too. Yeah, that would have to be the line because no way there's three. If 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 Yaya wins, it was a one takedown match. That's my opinion. Yeah, I think that's true. Um. Okay, this is funny from Nick Croninger. Is there anyone in the wrestling world that you wish you could redo your first meeting? When I met the coach for SDSU, I went with Damien, honored to meet you with a stupid grin. I'd like that one back. <laughs> it's pretty uh, good. That sounds amazing. How could you ever forget this guy? I know. Nick, you probably, Coach Han probably. It sounds like you crushed it. that first meeting. He probably is like, uh, he's probably like, who was that guy? That guy's funny. Damien, <laughs> Damien's a funny guy. I'm laughing. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I have one or not. Hmm. Oh, Good question. I do. Yeah, I've got one what? for sure. I when was, you told Kale you had a plan? I hated myself. That wasn't a meeting. Um, well, that was, yeah. Um, no, that wasn't the first time I talked to you. All right, what's, the, what's your one that you got to tell so us about? My one, yeah, I'm going to. Um, okay. But you have to get your plan jokes in every four seconds, Ben. It's like very, <laughs> that, was, that was in 2015. Um, it's still awesome. It is awesome. So I, at the All Star, this is 2013. I'm brand new to Flow, and like uh, yeah. I'm with I'm with uh, Mark Bader. Do you know Mark Ben? He went to Missouri. I, no. And I think the first time I met Mark, I remember it. 
Yeah. So um, he, uh, so we're walking around or before the All Star, and 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 Bader's like, "Hey, oh, Brian Morningstar and, and Tony Ramos are sitting there," and uh, I just reflexively like did it introduce, and, and Tony was like, "Yeah, Tony Ramos," and I was like, "I know." And then it was like, I was like, oh my gosh, that is like the stupidest thing I could have said there. I should have said, oh, nice to meet you instead of, I know. I thought that was so, and I thought, I still remember it. That was like 10 years ago and uh, I'm still like, uh, so uh, haunts you. that was so, so stupid. I was like, and that, that, that that's a moment where I have a Shane Sparks look at yourself in the mirror. Like you are such an idiot. <laughs> what are you doing, Sparks? Uh, Can you oh imagine how much would you pay to watch Shane yell at himself in the mirror after a broadcast? Hey guys, we need to, we need to, here's the deal. I got an idea. Okay. You guys got to know his address because you probably sent him a paycheck or something. Uh, definitely we, not wired through the internet. He's probably got direct uh, deposit. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. We go to his house and we, we put uh, a new mirror in that we could see the camera that he talks to. What do you think? It's, it sounds totally above board. Definitely not illegal. <laughs> no, super That'd legal. Be so awesome. And you know, I'm I'm kind of pretty good at surveillance, tracking people down. <laughs> I'm so good at tracking people down that they start when they hear yep. Detective Piles is on the case, they just start giving stuff back because out of fear. Because now I have my wallet. Yeah, Omar coming. Yeah, they, they I think hear it'd be the awesome. They hear the whistle. Yeah, that would be that would be great. I think I have his address, Ben, because I think we sent him a Christmas card. So, yeah, see, I need it as an address somehow. All right. Now, just that's the hard part. The easy part is installing the camera in his mirror. That's no problem. Yeah. I mean, you got to be able to buy it. that mirror with camera. I'll Google right now. Mirror with camera in it. Mirror <laughs> you're going with... to be on a watch list, Ben. <laughs> mirror with camera built in. I got it right here. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's one of these. There's one of these little ones here that's like uh, for makeup and you know doing your hair and stuff. Mm -hmm. I know Shane's doing his hair, getting jacked up. We got some more expensive ones that are bigger. We got a lot. We got a plethora of things to choose from here, guys. Yeah, lots of stuff. Uh, Average Seed asks, "What can and can't be challenged?" Thinking about the pin in Dow versus Assad. Yes, pins cannot uh, be pins. challenged. Um, what can and can't be challenged? Like stuff like cautions or stalling cannot be challenged. Yeah. Um, I want to say it's not judgment calls. I don't know how you would define it. I think you probably just have to go through a list. But yeah, pins can't be challenged um, unless. Well, see, I say that, but it, um, it can't be like was he or wasn't he pinned? If like, oh, he got put on his back with an illegal hold or something, they could review mm -hmm. that. But like, if someone wasn't pinned, they called a pin. You're like, look at it again. They can't go back on that. Um, yeah. Okay, James Martinez, Iowa is going to get a W. I bet 100 push-ups. That's not a question, but it sounds like James might be doing some push-ups. I, I think he's going to get strong. Yeah. The thing is, you can't make push-up bets with Ben because he won't pay up. Just like Taysom What? Bets. I've always paid up. I do all my push-ups. Yeah. Um, so what's going on in Tempe? Well, they're, they're banged up for sure, Arizona State. Definitely banged up. They're hurt. I mean – they were supposed to have Ja'Cory Teamer this year. He's been hurt. He's, he is hurt. Um, Colton Schultz has been dealing with some nagging injuries. Cordell, Cordell Norfleet. Backups. All points built. APB for Cordell Norfleet. What do we make of them wrestling Figueroa in both duels? I feel like we did not talk about that in the show yet this yeah, week. We I did. find that to be highly interesting and surprising. Because I thought when they used him for Unger, he looked so good against Unger, Courtney. I thought, okay. Yeah. They're, this is who they're going with, and I think it's probably the right choice. But now I'm—I don't know. What What do you think, Ben? You make. Uh, I think I think it's a pick 'em. Mm. Um, I th I mean I think obviously the one that makes sense is that Courtney has is in his last year and Diggs has three more years, but that probably shouldn't be a factor, although it mm. maybe is. Yeah. Tough one. Yeah. Um, to me, it just shows that's still a roster battle. It's, yeah. it's yeah, not. Sure. It's not a done deal yet. It, yeah, it, I agree with you because I think if um, if we had seen Courtney from since Cornell on, I'd be like, okay, it's that. But now, because I think Courtney is probably right now the best option. Uh, not to say Figaro may not have a better career. Uh, that's what kind of sways me a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Um. Eight, AZ wrestling fan, what's more impressive, Lee's ability to turn or how quickly he gets the first takedown in basically every match? 
Even the top Great wrestlers point. usually need a minute to soften up their pawns for their first takedown. I'm still going to go with turning ability. Yeah. yeah. I think turning ability. A lot of people are takedown specialists. Like, you know, a lot of people right. are tough on top two, but not, I feel like, to this not extent. Not to level. Yeah. We've seen takedown specialists before pretty prolific, I, I would say, on his level. Well, I think he's saying how quickly he gets the first takedown. It's not that he gets yeah. takedowns. It's like in the first 30 seconds, he's going to have a takedown. That's pretty True. pretty yeah. rare. Pretty, pretty unique. Um, it's, u- it's unique how fast it happens. I don't know. I, it's got to be the turn, though. Got to be. It's insane. It's, yeah. it's, it's so methodical. It's so, you know, the, the sequences. And he, mm-hmm. is good, he is good at the transition, like takedown to turn, but it's not like he's catching wrists m- every time he gets a takedown. Like, he kind of s- starts from scratch after the takedown, yeah. has to, like, drive over the arm, get the arm, get the wrist, do whatever he's going to yes. do. Um, how methodical it is is... But I think it is the turning. Pretty wild. Okay. Um, should the ankle ride on top have a five count? I wonder if that'll be I the new. I wouldn't hate it. New ver- I don't know, man. I th- I think it's. I a- wouldn't just hate top stalling called as top stalling. Yeah. That, there you go. There you go. But that kind of seems like their game. Like. Yeah, you can't trap an ankle now without a yeah, five that's, count. That's like what it's I'm a saying. it's a it's a yeah. very. It's a very good ride to set up turns. Right. There's a lot of turns you can hit Terrible off idea. an ankle ride. Yeah. I agree. Um, with you idiot, whoever asked that question. <laughs> well, gee, you guys all agreed with it four seconds ago. I like, did not. Well, Ben did. <laughs> um, well, I thought about it, and then I was like, yeah, that's a bad idea. Um, okay. Chase White. I haven't read this yet. A suge- Lope, we're all American, Chase White. Wow. Lope Show. We're all stars now in the Lope Show. That's hmm. right. So he says a suggestion instead of taking away team points and duels. Um, if there is an act done by either an athlete that is competing or coach during the duel is unsportsmanlike, the other team's wrestler would receive choice. If the act is done at the conclusion of the match, blah, 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 the match will start from there instead of taking team points away. I hate this idea because a coach acting a fool should not impact yes. my individual win or loss. Or another yes. person on your team, not even a coach. A yeah. Athlete. Yes. Yeah. I like the card system. Yellow card, red card. Yeah. Chuck them out. Throw them out. I, I don't agree. care. Yeah, it's stop. It's you funny not have... they don't actually have that in, uh, they don't have that at all in college wrestling. No. Have you ever seen a coach uh, ejected from a college match? I don't know that it's ever happened. I don't I think, think I've seen so. it in high school. It's, happened, so. it's happened in high school. <laughs> it happened to Christian Piles at the Highlander Invitational <laughs> in Glen Farm. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it was, it was at the end of the tournament anyway, so it was fine. Uh, highly embarrassing. Um, I was crazy. Uh, no, I don't like that. Because I think, yeah, you don't want... Do you, is it better than team points, though? It's actually worse. Because... Yeah, it's it worse. It's worse. Because now... It could literally affect a ranking. A you seat. could affect a ranking, a qualification, an actual match. You're changing a match. Uh, yeah. I yeah. don't like it. The best idea is just if they act, kick them out. Simple. Kick them out. They're acting wild. Yeah. Do something about it. It's Keep fine. Going. What was the score of the Ben versus Kale match? 10 0, I think. 10 or 11. I, didn't, I got tech pulled. I, mean, I did make it in the second period. How did he score on you? Don't remember. You don't remember? Probably, I would guess that it's that's freaking 2000. And I know, two but it, or it three. was Kale. It was Kale. I don't remember. Be- don't remember. Ankle pick, single leg, probably. Um, I'm guessing he didn't body lock me. Maybe got did a leg he, lace or something. Did he turn you? I, did, oh, okay. I definitely didn't get gutted. I definitely didn't get gutted. He wouldn't. Kale, I don't think you can gut me. Let's go, boy. <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh. Ben. ben, ben I laid down a challenge right there. Uh, this is for you, Ben. I'm glad this guy <laughs> clarified. I thought he would be Uh-oh. asking me. Uh, how do you think you would have done in your competitive <laughs> days against Starachi and Brooks? How would those matches have looked? I'd love to mix it up with those dudes. Um, I would say the guys I actually had the most challenge with were the guys who didn't wrestle me all that much and just had a hand fight and, and float ride. So these guys might have been a tough battle for me. Uh, mm. Guys who were had a propensity to shoot a lot or, or mix it up like a Herbert or Gavin that often had negative effects for them. Mm-hmm. So 
And I think these guys would hold position and not not attack all that much. That's why you b- berated in, in uh, all stallers as a little reverse psychology to get people to attack you oh, so of that course. you could kill them. Of course. That, that is for sure. There's no doubt about that at all. <laughs> He's coming up. Bark, 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 bark. Yeah, you try to antagonize them, get them out of their game a little bit. Yep. <laughs> Andrew Spey, why do you all agree with me that a steam room is better than a sauna? And also, what is everyone's favorite airport lounge? Thank you. I actually don't agree that a steam room is better than a sauna. Although I do love, I love them both. Um, but if I had to, if I had to stack rank them, it would be a nice sauna, then a mm-hmm. steam room, and then those dog shit infrared saunas would be last. Good, a good steam is better than a poor sauna, but a poor sauna or but a good sauna is better than a good steam. Yeah, yeah, and the we're doing steam rooms. You can't stay in there that long if it's that hot. Yeah, you get like burning, like a little like just right in front of the yes. the uh, the steam yeah. coming out. You should put your yeah. face right over the steam holes. <laughs> that would not be good. I would. I, I thought that's how you had that. to do it. No wonder I don't like steam rooms. Oh my god, I've been doing it wrong. Um, Spay, I don't. I've. I can honestly say I've never been in an airport lounge. One time, Spay tried to take me to one and. He couldn't get me in. So you don't I even did go one in time when I go light? international. No, no, no. He couldn't get me in. He's like, oh, oh, yeah, come with me. I can get you in the lounge, blah, blah, blah. No problem. No problem. And then we get there. He's like, uh, oh, actually, we can't go in. I think he even Bro, he this couldn't one go in. in Doha, Qatar. Oh, my God. They had, like, the best food ever. It was, like, you know, a five-star in restaurant. The, in uh, Helsinki, you can sauna in the airport. Oh, my God. Oh, I want to go to Helsinki. I'm in. Mm-hmm. Let's go. All right. We have and to stop the show and go the, to Helsinki. The, uh, okay. priority, there's Let's a priority go. pass lounge in Helsinki, which I can get into. I don't need a lounge. All I need is uh, a Wi-Fi connection. Wi-Fi connection in the sauna. How about that, Christian Piles? <laughs> now, now we're next level. Now we're next level. Okay. <laughs> Big weekend. Thank you guys so much. Big weekend for crime fighting. Big weekend for wrestling. Big weekend for daddy-daughter dances <laughs> and black oh, yeah. eye recovery. For Ben, he's getting healthier every day. Thank you guys so much. It's going to be such a fun, fun weekend of wrestling. Aren't they all, though? Come hang out at the watch party. Come hang out at the watch party. We're hanging out. Quote the great. Look at Murphy. Oh, there's a dog under the table. What a well-behaved dog. You didn't even know there was a dog here, did you? Well, joke's on you. We had a dog here the whole time. Take that, OSHA. See you later, guys. Thank you. Goodbye.